Hi guys, this is Sadek from Problem.com. In this video, we will show you how to pair your Galaxy Watch with a phone running a Chinese OS. For example, the color OS of the Oppo and the OnePlus in China region, the origin OS of Vivo, the Realme UI from Realme and so on. So let's get started. For the sake of reference, I am using a OnePlus 11 phone and the Galaxy Watch 4. So first off, install the Galaxy Wearable app from Play Store onto your phone. So I will be carrying out all the steps from scratch. So just give me a second the Galaxy Wearable app from the Play Store installed onto your phone, the Chinese phone and it will take a few seconds. Once that is done, install the Galaxy Watch plugin for your phone onto your Play Store. So what I have seen that in case of Watch 3, Watch 5, 6 and 7, you have separate apps for each of these as you could see for example, for the Watch 5 and 6 you could see Watch 5 plugin, Watch 6 plugin but that's not the case with the Galaxy Watch 4. So in this case I am using the plugin which is a general one which is this one Galaxy Watch plugin. So if you are having a Watch 4, then please install this app only. But for the rest of the watch, you can get the Watch 6, Watch 5, Watch 3 and Watch 7 plugins. And for Galaxy Watch 4, which I am currently using, there is no app as such. So I am using the generic one, which is the Galaxy Watch, simply the Galaxy Watch. Just give me a second, Galaxy Watch plugin. So this is the app which I am, I will now install onto my phone. So it will take a few more seconds. And once that is done, next up, Install the Wear OS by Google Smartwatch. So it should be here as well. Wear OS by Google Smartwatch. Wear OS by Google Smartwatch. This is the one. Install this app onto your phone as well. So up until now, we have installed three apps the Galaxy Wearable, Galaxy Watch plugin, and the Wear OS by Smartwatch. Now you have to open the App Store on your phone. For example, the China, the Xiaomi have their own App Store in China region. The Vivo have their own app store. So please use the same app store which is there onto your phone and then install the Galaxy Wear OS app from that app store as well. In my case currently OnePlus, it does not have any own app store. So let's use the app store from the Vivo and install the Wear OS app from there. So let me show you what I mean. If you are currently in China, then only it will work. So for example, I am not in China but still I will show you the, the steps how to get this job done. So you have to first install this. the Vivo App Store onto your phone from any third party side. Install it. It should the link is not there currently. I, I will link it over here as well. Currently it's not there. So install the App Store, the Vivo App Store. There are way too many blots. Plot where okay, let's skip that home page. Search. I don't want as the default. Uncheck this, uncheck this as well. Then type on agree. And let's search for the Vivo App Store. Sorry, not the Vivo App Store. It should be the the Wear OS. You have to install the Wear OS app from the Vivo App Store or any other app store which is there onto your phone. If your phone does not have any app store, then use the Vivo App Store. The Vivo App Store, Xiaomi App Store, Realme App Store. So for now my phone is not having any app store. I am using the Wear OS. So the Vivo App Store, so search for the Wear OS. And as you could see currently, it is not able to find this app as such. So in that case, you could also install the app from the APK Mirror. It should be something like this. Only use this APK mirror if your phone, the if the Vivo app store or your phone app store is not able to find this app. In my case, it's not able to find this app. So then you may use the Wear OS by Google China build as you could see. So let's install this only onto my phone because we don't have any other way out. So currently I'm using the latest build, which is this one. Let's verify it once. This is the APK which I'm having. Wear OS China region details. You could now see the version number 268201. 268201. Yes, it's the same one. So let's install this APK onto my phone now. Cancel and install. So okay, you, you might get a prompt. Tap on install anyway. If you're not having this option to install anyway, then open the Play Store. And from the Play Store, do one thing. Open the Play Store. Then tap on your profile at the top right, which is just give me a second. Over here, select Play Protect. And from here, tap on the settings icon. Then turn off Play Protect for around, let's say, pause it for around one hour or so. And when that is done, you may then install the APK file. Will now be installed onto your phone. It's now installed onto my phone. I may now re enable it. So for now, you will have two apps from Wear OS. The first one is from the Play Store, this one. And this one is the China build, which I installed from the APK mirror. Okay, let's do one more thing. Let's keep all the apps on the new page. It will be easier to keep a track of these apps now. So Galaxy Wearable app, then the Wear OS. This is one from the Play Store. This is the one which I installed just now. Okay, one more thing. The watch plugin will not be shown in the app drawer. As you could see, I installed the Galaxy watch plugin app as well. 
so which is not shown here in the app drawer the galaxy watch plugin as you could see over here it's not shown here so it's not of any concern skip that and the view app store is now not working for me let me remove the app so for now we should have the having four apps onto our phone the galaxy watch plugin the galaxy wearable wear os from play store and wear os from the Ch china app store which in my case is from the vivo app store or the apk mirror both will get the job done so once you have done that let's move ahead with the next step now install the samsung smart switch onto your phone as well from the play store only so samsung smart switch let's search for that smart switch from samsung let's install that app as well onto our phone and it's not done in Brazil as well we have this app onto our phone now so which is over here let's transfer this app as well over to our new page which is over here this is our fifth okay we have already got this app over here well and good let's move from here so we have now got all the five apps onto our phone the fifth the fifth one is the galaxy watch plugin which is not shown here so now you have to carry out any one of these four things the fourth one is the one which has been recommended by the dev but it's quite a risky approach and on some phones you might not be able to uninstall the play store as well so you could use the adb shell command i gave in this article as well on how to uninstall apps from your phone but keep in mind removing the play store is quite a risky approach so we will not take that approach let's use the first approach and then the second approach but if that's not working use the third approach but if all the three are failing in that case you will have to uninstall the play store and then install it back again i show you that as well but for now let's offer the first and second approach only i will not remove the play store for now if you want you may use the adb shell command and get the job done simply enable usb debugging then open the same window inside the photo platform tools which is over here then simply type in this command and the play store will be gone from your phone and you could then reinstall as well at a later stage over here but for now if you want to remove the app but now i'm not using this approach i'm using the first three approaches out of this any one have to be used so i'm using the first one okay let's also use the second one if required but don't use the third and fourth one for now skip the third and fourth one you can use the first and the second one in combination as well so let's first do a four stop app info of play store four stop four stop again also remove its data as well it's not risky so for now we have used the first and second but don't use the third and the fourth one for now leave the third and fourth for now skip them and when that is done now remove the data the cache of the play service don't remove the data just remove the cache of the play service so go to the settings menu on your phone from there go to apps and app management or show all apps then from here check mark show system apps search for the play service which should be over here only google play services and storage usage please tap on clear cache and not the data only the cache is required and once that is done not turn on your watch and it should be on the welcome screen or the pairing screen as you could see current time on the on the pairing screen if that's all well and good now enable the bluetooth on your phone it's not turned on already and now let's pair our watch with the phone using the galaxy wearable app so let's get the job done galaxy wearable is over here launch it start allow give it all the required permission choose your watch from here and you will get a pairing code verify it tap on the check mark and allow access pair the pairing has now started allow access for all of them allow install galaxy watch manager app okay okay let's install this app as well galaxy watch manager app is a wearable app okay let it install as well and now let's minimize it wait for a few seconds once that is done now again go back to the app it will take a few more seconds for it to load up so let's wait and now it's loaded skip the sign in for now i want to skip that so let's agree to all continue allow 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 once again allow all i'm giving it all the access if you want you may restrict the access but for now let's give it all the access it will take a few more seconds so let's wait for the this to complete and on your watch you will simply get this message that check your phone to complete the storage so let's wait for our phone only and we'll take a few more seconds getting the google account info sign in i would want to skip it for now more i agree next allow more continue while using the app allow once again allow once again allow allow 
there are too many permissions damn there are too many turn on use it data access for the smart watch in settings settings permit use it access go back settings allow file access to the smart switch allow always running in the back end and wait for a few more seconds please give it all the required permission or else it might not work so allow once again okay it's fine next 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 tips and user guide is now finishing up the process don't use the app for now leave it in the stage only so as you might have seen we have to install one more app which i will show you the, the galaxy variable app as well so that was one more app which we had to install onto our phone and after that the task is now complete in a few more seconds finishing setup you're all set and you can now see we have the app up and running galaxy watch 4 this is the app and you could now use the watch from here so guys once that is done if you had removed the watch the, if you're sorry so guys once that is done if you have removed the play store then you will now reinstall the play store onto your phone as well via the apk mirror on any site of your choice likewise you will now also install the samsung health app from play store and you may use that app as well without an issue whatsoever okay one more thing if you're not able to pair then in that case please remove the watch plugin from your phone and after that simply do the pairing with the variable app and once the pairing has been done the watch plugin will be installed automatically on your phone again i'm repeating if you're not able to carry out the plugin and if you're not able to carry out the pairing process then in that case please remove the watch plugin which you had installed in my case watch 4 so please remove the plugin from your phone after that retry the pairing and the pairing will now go on via the variable app after that the watch plugin will be installed on your phone once again automatically so once that is done the last thing is one more thing although we have given it all the required permission still please verify it that they have all the permissions the network and the battery are two most important part permissions is all given likewise go to the battery usage allow background activity allow then go to the uh, let's say it's in the data usage background data is given over here well and good likewise do the same for the Wear OS apps as well both the Wear OS app Wear OS data usage background data is allowed go to the battery usage allow background activity then do this for the Wear OS app from the Play Store as well again the storage usage not this one data usage enabled battery usage allow background activity allow then we have the Galaxy variable app as well this is very important part as well so please do that data usage is fine storage usage okay not this one it's the battery usage allow background activity and now you may try out doing the pairing once again this and there will be no issue so if you're having any issue with the pairing then first off remove the, the plugin from your phone and then also give it all the access for the, all the apps the galaxy variable app and all the plugins as well so give it all the access for the background data and the network and the battery after that retry the pairing and this time the pairing will go on without an issue whatsoever and after that the watch will be installed automatically on your phone as well and when we started the pairing process there was one more app which was installed onto our phone as you, you would have seen the galaxy watch manager app it was also installed onto my phone so it's all normal nothing to worry about and now you also install the samsung health app and get the job done if required that's completely optional so guys that's all from this video if you have any query with regard to any of the steps do let me know in the comment section and thanks a lot for watching